Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Let's talk for a minute about our immunity, our immune system. That's the little cells in your body that attack bacteria and viruses or anything else that doesn't belong in you. All right, how good is your immunity? You may think it's really, really good, but if you're not supplementing with vitamin C and vitamin D, and now they're saying on another video I saw, it might have been one I shared even, adding zinc, okay? Um, and now, it might say the usual dose is a thousand international units a day, okay? Your doctor, you know, if you're young and healthy, you probably won't need as much vitamin D, especially if you get to be in the sun a lot. But I take 5,000 international units a day. However, having said that, my last labs showed the level was getting up there toward the high, high you know, like I don't want it to go over the top limit. Mine was 84 and I think 100 was the limit or something like that. So I'm cutting mine back to five times a week. But a lot of people think you just need to increase vitamin C. But, and you do. You should be taking 2,000, um, what is it, milligrams. Okay, these are the ones I just got. Oh, there's a bug on them. There's some little bugs in here. I know it's from banana peels. They've given us bananas every day. And uh, I'm eating them. I think I better cut back. Anyway, these are 500 milligrams. So I normally take, um, I wanted the 500s again instead of the thousands. Because for one thing, the thousand milligrams are huge. And they barely fit in my little pill boxes. <laughs> so... I'd rather put two of these in the morning, one in the afternoon, and two in the evening. I want to take 2,500 a day, which sounds like a lot, but it will not build up and be toxic. You, you want a, a lot more than less. Okay, now zinc. Um, I don't know if you can get... you. I know you can get it in a multivitamin, but you might want to just get um, a bottle of zinc and whatever it tells you to take, take just that. Now zinc can be toxic. It can give you seizures if you overdose on zinc. So be careful with zinc. You want a good level and I'm going to tell you something. That medicine called Zycam is zinc is what it is and I get the mini melts and I knock a cold out in a day which is a virus and usually caused by the coronavirus believe it or not I've mentioned it before it's the coronavirus by itself causes the common cold okay and zinc the, zy the zinc and zycam <laughs> knocks that out and I'm told that the stuff you squirt up your nose burns like crazy I'd rather get the mini melts and they work just fine you just have to remember to take them the way it says okay don't just take one and then forget to take any more because you may actually feel better <laughs> they really work well okay so I got this because someone sent me a video from Dr. John Campbell and I listened a little bit to one of his other ones um, he calls it vitamin <laughs> the people in um, the UK and I don't know maybe Australia might do it too say it's vitamin <laughs> it cracks me up but uh, supposedly they had this language first so maybe we're the ones who say it wrong I don't know but you know when you're raised saying it, vitamin it sounds funny but anyway he's showing here uh, 
he gets into more detail about why you need vitamin D to increase your immunity. So I'll, I'll link it. It's called Vitamin D and Immunity. That's the title if you want to watch it. And you can't see the description box. And the channel is Dr. John Campbell. All separated. Okay? All right. That's it for this one. I'll let you go and I will talk to you all later. Bye for now.